to understand the Penny Lab, you need to know physical and chemical properties and reactions. A physical chain is when the material is the same as it was before the reaction. And a chemical change is a material reacts and forms one or more new substances, such as the baking of a cake. Physical properties are any characteristic of a material that can be observed or measured without changing the composition of the substances in the material. Intensive properties are odor, color, luster, hardness, and boiling point, also others. Extensive properties are mass, weight, volume, and length. Chemical properties are any abilities to produce a change in the composition of matter. Examples are flammability, production of a gas, a color change, and reactivity. A physical change occurs when some of the properties of a material change, but the substances in the material remain the same. A chemical change is when a substance reacts and forms one or more new substances. Hey kids! Today we will be making gold and silver pennies. You're probably thinking, how is this possible? Well, by using alchemy, the oldest form of chemistry, alchemists thought they could change everyday objects into gold and silver. But not actual gold and silver. You see, alchemists could change the chemical properties of the objects, causing a color change. Well, enough talking. Let's get started. The materials we will need are copper pennies, zinc, evaporating dish, the Bunsen burner, tongs, the soap water, acetone, a beaker for the acetone, a spoon, sodium hydroxide solution. And always remember, since we're dealing with fire and sodium hydroxide, which can burn you, you have to have safety goggles on, gloves, and we're wearing our aprons just in case. This is the process of making silver pen. We're going to take a small spoonful of zinc and put it in the evaporating dish. And then you cover the zinc with sodium hydroxide solution. And then you heat it gently over the Bunsen burner flame. But be careful, do not let the solution boil. Make sure they are completely covered. Then you continue to heat until your pennies are completely covered with the zinc. Once the pennies are completely covered with zinc, you take out the pennies and you'll rinse them in water till the zinc is completely off. Always make sure you do not touch the penny with your own hands. Make sure you are wearing gloves. And then you dip it in the acetone. And then you have now successfully created a silver penny. You grasp the penny in your tongs and you put it in the bluest part of the butt square flame. As you see, there's this light blue part. And you put it in the deepest part of the flame and you wait for a color change. And then once the color is changed, quickly put it under cold running water. And now you have successfully created a gold and silver penny. Now time for a quiz. 
Number one, which is not a physical property? A, odor, B, flammability, C, hardness, or D, weight? Number two, which is not a chemical property? A, reactivity, B, flammability, C, production of a gas, or D, length? Number three, what should you always wear during any experiment? A, nothing, B, gloves, safety goggles, and aprons, C, I don't really know. Thank you for joining us in our experiment. We're Cameo and Nicole, and we're out.